With me at the table, Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson. And we've also got Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. Levine and DeRozan, the lethal wing pair. Beast out there with the eraser. And it's Dosunmu in at the point. Well, we expect to see sparks flying down in the paint tonight. Greg, a couple of very talented centers matching up head-to-head -head in this one. And But with the way the game is played today, you know, we could see them battling at the arc. <laughs> Modern bigs make their presence felt now all over the floor. It'll be the Bulls off the tip. Levine passes to DeRozan. Now here's Dosumu. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assists. And, De and DeRozan has done an amazing job improving his playmaking skills, including finding his open teammates. This one for three. It's up and it's off the mark. He's 0 for 1. Let's the three fly. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. What you got for us, D.A.? Thank you, Kevin. Well, I was able to catch up with the head coach of the home team. He told me they'll be looking to stretch the defense with their ability to knock down shots from deep. He said success on the outside will translate to success on the inside. Sounds like instead of going inside out, they're going to go outside in. Interesting. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. You know, hard to create spacing without the threes. Chicago's gone 2-2 two two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Most losing teams, Greg, are looking to rebuild, look to the future, but not in Chicago. Yeah, their idea to turn it around was to get all-stars. <laughs> Trading for Vooch in 21 during a losing season, then signing DeMar as a free agent. That's a refreshing approach. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. Good timeout, if you ask me. They have the momentum, and Coach wants to find a way to try and stop it. Gone 0-3 from the field to start the game. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone. That shot is off. Here's Chicago. Good momentum. Eight straight points. Now here's Levine. Defense right on him. Passes it to DeRozan. Five on the clock. High post try. That one off the back iron and out. Gone 0 of 2 from deep here. That one's not going to go. And it's Chicago the other way. Pass to the eraser. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assists. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Couldn't come up with a much better start than this. They just have to keep it going. There's the three. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And that ends the struggle. You could feel the tensions in the building with each miss. Yeah, not the start that they wanted, but maybe that basket was all they needed to get into a little bit of a rhythm. Shoots the three. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. When he gets a quality look like this at the perimeter, he can almost be automatic. Pass to Levine. Back to DeRozan. Free throw line jump shot. No good. That's miss number two. He's one for three. DeRozan defending. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That one on DeRozan. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. The first free throw is good. And he makes both free throws. Probably as close to a sure thing as you can have at the free throw line. 
And there's the pass to Dosun. Back to DeRozan. Pass to Levine. Ball's knocked loose. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. Pass to the eraser. Shot clock at five. Stolen. And it's all evened up. Got it in close. And unless it's an open three, that's the key to efficient offense. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. And we see it so often. One little tweak to the game plan and everything falls into place for a team. For Chicago, they've gone 4-7 from the field, shooting over 50%. Pass to Levine. Down to five on the shot clock. They get it again. No clue how he misfired on that shot. You don't see that from him very often. And he's going up for the alley-oop. And they take the lead. Yeah, nice silky finish on the alley-oop from the stupendous feed. That sequence couldn't have been executed any better. Takes it inside. Dosunmu, the pass to DeRozan. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. And right out of the gate, trying to set the tone defensively, you gotta love that energy. Here's Levine. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Hey, who's watching Here's Dosunmu. Just five to shoot. And it's DeMar DeRozan with the three. You could see his confidence on that shot. DeMar DeRozan catches it, fires it without a pause. Richard, some people doubted the Bulls trade to get DeMar DeRozan. But as we know, those doubts were short-lived. Oh, that's for sure. DeMar DeRozan, look, he dominated in his first season in Chicago, all-NBA team. And look, the Bulls had gone through some really lean years. This was a great move by the front office. Chicago has gone three of three from deep. Nine points rung up from outside here in the first. And the pass to Levine. Here's the eraser. Passes to the beast. And they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three point play. How about battling through the impact there and then willing that basketball in? Bulls shooting their first free throw of the game right now. And they shot 81% from the line last season as a team. So you, you really can't find fault with what they're able to do there. There's 38 seconds left to play in the first quarter. It's blocked. It's three on three on the fast break. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. A strong man. Levine fights for the bucket and is rewarded with one more. And he's got his first chance at the line here. They throw good Levine. 26 seconds left to play in the first. Fifteen seconds left to play in the first quarter. Out to the right wing. Six to shoot. Nice D from DeRozan. The shot, no good. The offense coming free and easy as we wrap up the first quarter. Rolls out front, up by four. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment.
offensive approach for the Bulls. Being about 42% so far. P. Richard last season, Spurs coach Greg Popovich moved into first all-time in career coaching wins. And you played for him. You know him well. Any memories or thoughts about playing for Popovich? First, let me say congratulations to Greg Popovich because he is the type of coach and person you want to be the face of this league. You want him to be the face of the coaching ranks because he is so humble. He is so demanding. And you know what? He knows how to host a pretty good meal, too. <laughs> <laughs> and you were a part of many of those, correct? Oh, yeah, a lot of those meals. And look, look, we'll talk about the coaching a little later, but he knows how to do a really good meal. <laughs> and for the Bulls, the wing set for him, Levine and DeRozan. The eraser is out there with the beast, and it's Dosunmu in at the point. the bucket and he's got a free throw coming up as well great job of screening there nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish on the free throw no good Chicago leading by four and it's blocked. Guarded by Levine. Got a piece of it. And they get it back. Good. Just over one minute has passed here in the second quarter. Outside DeRozan. Back to Levine, to the paint, taken away. The three, knocks down the three ball. He's got ten. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. I've been on the edge of my seat courtside. Man, this has been a barn burner. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. Great fight. Not an easy bucket for Levine. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. And that's what a coach loves to see in a close game. Just put your head down and make something happen. Kevin, what's so impressive to me about Levine? It's the all-around play. He affects the game across the board. Goran Dragic is checked in for Dosumu. On defense, the Bulls. Tipped away. Misses off the right iron. And Levine's efficient as well. And good shooting numbers, no doubt. Last year, he cut back on the turnovers. And boy, he's still young. There's still tons of upside to be had. The Bulls shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. No good on that one. Probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. He doesn't get the second one. It's not often you see him fail to deliver at the line like this. Let's it go from deep. Carries the long-range jumper. This tug-of-war game continues. And guys, that's lucky number seven already in this game. Pass to DeRozan. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. It's Trogic with the drive. The offensive rebound. The beast. And he goes in for the dunk. Nothing soft about the putback there. And why chance it, right? Take the dunk if you've got it. And that's his MOB physical. Get in position for the putback and throw it down. The defense got to know that's what he's looking to do. 
and out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. And for those of you just joining us in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by. Outside Dragic. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Uh, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. You got to blow the whistle when it's that obvious. Great call there by the official. He's guarded by Dragic. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. He just makes it look so easy on offense. Just, like, who takes pleasure in torturing defenses? He does. One shot. Bulls trail by three. Levine kicks the Dragic. Outside DeRozan. Pass to the eraser. That's in, and he's now three for three and looking sharp. Gone four and six from outside the arc tonight. DeRozan defending. To the left side wing. And he uses the glass on the way. He's got ten. Not the best pick I've seen, but look, like, hey, look, he got the job done, and that's all that matters. Back to Levine. Got a piece of it. Here's the beast. Seven points in the game. One forty-three left in the first half. Oh, and there's the alley -oop. Takes the alley -oop pass and dunks it down. And how about the incredible timing on that alley -oop? He absolutely hammered it down. And here we go. Levine heading to the hoop. And the shot goes in. Levine's got four points this quarter. I love when Levine uses his quickness on defense. And let's just say so to his teammates and coaches. DeRozan defending. There's a minute left now here in the second. That one falls. Well, guys, this first half has been about as tightly contested as you could hope for. There have been a lot of lead changes. My goodness. Kicks it to Levine. There's the pass to Dragic. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's just so tough to stay with Dragic in those herky-jerky moves without fouling. First one falls for him. Both good from the line that time. There's 42 seconds left in the first half of basketball. DeRozan defending and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Oh, the officials are all over that one. And he knocks down the first one. Ozumu, he's checked in for the Bulls. Both shots good from the strike. 30 seconds left to play in the first half. 
outside Levine. Passes it to DeRozan. 17 seconds left to play here in the half. Horrible mistake right there. You hate to see unforced turnovers like that. 11 seconds left in the first half of the game. Out to the right wing. Just three on the clock. And yes, it's good. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Leading by three. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Billy. I heard you tell the guys to take it to them and play with more physicality offensively. What did you mean? Well, just I think when we're getting the ball inside around the basket, at times we got to go up a little bit stronger and play through the cut. All right, David, thank you, and stay with us, folks. In that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. on 4-6 from outside the arc tonight. Guarded by Levine. Down low. And it's Chicago with the rebound. The Beasts got seven rebounds in the game. And for the Bulls, Levine and DeRozan, the lethal wing pair. Beast out there with the eraser. And it's Dosunmu in at the point guard position. And the ball ends up out of bounds. They'll keep possession. Chicago on defense. They trail by three. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. Tough to watch those miss. I'm sure they'll convert the next chance. There's one for the low light. Wow. I'm not sure who messed up the pass, but look, somebody did. DeRozan defending. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. He's got 12. And the burst of quickness on display with the mobile one drive. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. They get a hand on it. Little over a minute gone here in the second half. The shot's good. And it's DeRozan with the ball for the Bulls. Seven point differential. Goes up on the wing, and he hits the jump shot. DeRozan's got eight points. On your jumper, DeMar does something a little bit different. He gets great lift off the floor. That makes his shot so tough to contest. Got a hand on it. And out of bounds. The Bulls will take it. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. And that block might serve as a spark for this team. We'll see if it can ignite them. Bulls trail by five. Levine deciding where to go with it. Here's the beast. He's got seven, just five on the clock. Now here's Dosumu. Six on the shot clock. Pass to DeRozan. Offensive rebound. He's so strong when he goes to work on the glass. One opening is all he'll need to finish the play, even if it's just a tip in. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Yeah, this is a good opportunity to get your group together and make sure everyone is on the same page. Gone. Two of six from the field here in the third. 
Guarded by Levine. And blocked the ball with his palm. What a defensive play. DeRozan in the corner. Quick shot there, and it's off target. Gone four sets from outside the arc tonight. DeRozan defending. Can't cash in from close range. Bulls trail by three. Outside, Levine. Right around three minutes into the second half. Never afraid of getting physical with the defense. Levine welcomes any chance he can to get to that line. This is his second trip to the free throw line. Wound up shooting 85 from the line a season ago, which is an exceptional percentage. Free throw good, Levine. And so Levine nails both of them. And Levine's combination of athleticism and shooting makes him dangerous. A multifaceted player with a strong work ethic. Guarded by Levine for three. And it's Chicago with the rebound. For the lead, here's the beast. It's tipped, and they're able to recover, and he gets it back. As we approach the fourth quarter, still anyone's ballgame. Yeah, neither team able to create much of a cushion. Look at the eraser. What a contribution. And he's been taking it to the rack all game, and they haven't been able to contain him. They have to put up better fight on the inside. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. Basket counts. Nice little draw up there from the inbounds play to get them an easy bucket. Outside DeRozan. Pass to Dosunmu. The pass to the Beast. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. He's got free throw attempts number four and five here. And the first one at the line is good. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three-point tonight. Four of seven shooting. There's three-pointers off the mark. Got to find easier shots when you're already struggling. That's not going to get it. Here's DeRozan. And another miss by Chicago. Gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Picked off in midair. And here we go with DeRozan running it up the middle. And again, no good by Chicago. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Yeah, straight up, guys. Like, he's ice cold, like freezing. What's colder than cold? But you don't have to shoot it, my guy. It's okay to pass the ball. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Let's it go from 14. The Beast can't hit. Being at 46%, making some buckets. Launches a three. It's hauled in by the Bulls. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. And there's the bucket from Dosumu. Dosumu's got five points so far. And he's talked about wanting to improve his all-around game. Levine demonstrating just how unselfish he is with that great pass. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Levine. The Bulls making a switch here. Caruso's checked in. There's 45 seconds left in the third. The rebound by the eraser. 
The Erasers got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. Outside DeRozan. Pope loose, and it's out of bounds. Last touch by DeRozan. Kobe White, he's checked in for Zach Levine. Twenty-four seconds left to play in the third. Defended by Caruso. Lays it up and banks it in. He's got nine. Nice rim protection, and it's still not enough to keep him from getting that layup. That's tipped. Two on the clock. Count the basket. It's a tight one. Neither team really able to create any separation. Three quarters of play in a close game here. They lead our State Farm assist of the game. And he, he may not be known as a pass-first guy playing out of the two-guard spot, but he shows here that he can dole out an assist or two when he needs to. And from a team perspective, having your off-guard rip-off passes like that, it's awesome. It shows you have guys willing to give up the rock. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Outside, White. Shot from 12. That one rolling around and rims out. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. And for Chicago, Alex Caruso out there with Kobe White. And it's the Beast, and it's DeRozan, and it's the Eraser in at the center. Outside, White. Or the three. No good there. Gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Oh, I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. So for the Bulls, Zach Levine's checked in for Kobe White. And it's Dosumu in for Alex Caruso. And so he hits both. Bulls trail by three. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. And that one is stuffed right through. That gives him the double-double. 11 points and 10 rebounds. One reason Levine has been an all-star, Zach can be the playmaker or the scorer. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. And, and guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big-time rejection. Five to shoot. Takes a shot at the elbow. Jamar DeRozan grabs the board. Here's the eraser. Passes it to DeRozan. Outside, Levine. Into the lane. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. Boy, right down to the wire here. Still anyone's ball game. Yeah, and after all the energy both sides have expended, both teams still hungry for the win. Banked in off the glass. And you don't want to allow too many of those short ones with the game right now in the balance. That was a second look at our Mobile One Drive. Amazing control on display. And a close game like this, you've got to dig deep and just find a way to make things happen. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. No good with the layup. Fades and shoots. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Oh, the lob to DeRozan. 
When you're a prolific scorer like DeRozan, you just know how to take what the defense gives you. Gone one of four since the end of the third quarter. Let's it go with a three. DeRozan with the rebound. DeRozan's got five rebounds tonight. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. He's not the biggest guy, but it's the explosiveness, the athleticism of Levine that makes him so difficult to handle on that interior. And a closer look here at the hustle stance for the Bulls. The first one falls. And so Levine nails both of them. Look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. That one is off. Good on the second free throw. Only down two now, but that miss might come back to haunt you. If they don't get a stop, it's back to a two-possession game. Pass to Dosun. And here's DeRozan. And here is Dosumu. It's deflected. Out to DeRozan. Just two to shoot. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Just lost his head out there. It'll happen if you're pushing a little too hard. Being 43% from the field. Shot from 12. Guarded by Levine. And it's off from three point range. Chicago leading. One thirty-one left in the fourth quarter. Back to DeRozan. Jacks up a three. And they get it back. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. He hits the first one and that makes it a three-point lead. So he gets them both, and it's a four-point ballgame. And really, the tension could not be higher right now. And he looked like he was shooting free throws at practice. What a cool customer. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's going to go on Dosumu. Good on the first, and that narrows the lead down to just three. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And that makes it a one-possession game, guys. Got to be the biggest free throws of the game thus far. Here's the Beast. With the teardrop. Oh, that's blocked. And so it looks like the Bulls will retain possession here. There's 57 seconds left in the fourth quarter. The eraser, it's in! Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. He knew what they needed here and was determined to deliver. And now, let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game, The Beast. And he's provided them with a major mismatch on that low block tonight that they've been able to lean on his scoring 
in the paint. And if nothing else has worked, he, he's given them a reliable option on every possession. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alder. Thanks, Kevin. Well, the head coach of the home team had some words for the team during the break. He told them, don't look at the scoreboard. It's 0-0. Zero, zero. One play at a time. Execute the game plan. That's how we're going to win this game. Kevin, he's trying to keep him focused. Okay, David, much appreciated. First free throw is good, and that narrows the lead down to just three. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Now the Bulls with it. They've led by as much as 10. And they had a foul to give, but you want to use it on the ground. He drops the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a four-point ball game. Gets them to fall, and those are huge free throws. It's now a two-possession game. 11 feet away. It's deflected, and so they foul intentionally. So the first one drops, and that puts them up by five. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. No time to waste on this possession. Clock working against them right now. Good! What a beautiful shot to bring them to within three. No settling for an outside shot there. They went right to the hoop. And that's an intentional foul. Gets the first, and that gives them a four-point cushion. So both free throws are good, and it's a five-point game. Twenty-four seconds left in the game. Over to the wing. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. And that's the kind of move that will always pay off, even against tight defense like he was facing on that possession. And that one misses. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. No choice but to foul there, but, it, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. He hits the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. Well, DeRozan is a high-percentage free-throw shooter. He just has to get the job done here. Making no mistakes and putting some extra nails in the coffin right here. That pretty much do it. From deep, the rebound by the eraser. So the Bulls win it. They seem to relish their role as the bad guy here tonight. You know, Kevin, I sense that as well. I mean, they really did feed off all of that negative energy this crowd was directing at them. I mean, they turned it around and used it as most.